Hey guys, Coach Runk here with Twitter Christian Basketball. Got another video here for you today. This one today is on how to get open. Uh, I noticed um, last year for my third grade team, we struggled a lot with how to with getting open uh, on a consistent basis. You know, come down the floor, uh, point guard would would try to throw that first pass, and it would a lot of times get picked off. And why was it getting picked off? So we we coached last year uh, to V cut to get open. I was always coaching basketball uh, growing up to V cut to get open. You know, if you had a, a man draped all over you, then you make a cut towards the basket and pop back out towards the three point line. Um, and that would get you open. The point guard could throw you the ball. Uh, you would have left your defender in the dust back in the paint, theoretically. So that's what I coached last year, but it didn't work. It was maddening for me all year. We would, we would continue to get these passes picked off trying to V cut. So why didn't it work? Did my high school coaches not know what they were doing? No, I, I think they did. Uh, but the problem at the youth level is that the backdoor cut really isn't respected by these kids and the defenses. They know that if that ball is thrown backdoor, it's usually going to be a pretty high lofting pass. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fly up through the air, uh, and the defense is going to have an opportunity to, to pick that pass off. So I went back to the drawing board uh, this offseason to think a little bit more about how we could – get open a little bit better. And I came up with um, with an idea that's really not new to basketball at all. It's something that's done all the time at the pro level, college level, high school level, what, what have you. Uh, but it's something that I think can be used a lot more at the youth level because uh, getting open is is more difficult than just just flying around, cutting hard, uh, that kind of thing. So what, what we're going to talk about today is getting physical uh, to get open. What does that mean exactly? That means getting into a defender's chest, giving them a little bit of a push, and keeping them rooted in place so that when you pop back out towards the three-point line, they're left in the dust. They're left back where you where you pushed at them a little bit, and you're in a different spot now. And some of you might be thinking, isn't that a foul? Can I just push a defender? Well, yeah, you can. It's not a foul. Not a foul at all. I mean, you can if you push too hard, if you if you extend your arms all the way and you push them to the ground or they push them enough so that they stumble backwards, the referee might call that. But if you push them just enough so that they stay right where they're right where they're at, right where you walked up to them and started leaning into them a little bit, then it's not a foul. And so that's what that's what I'm going to be teaching my kids uh, this coming week. And I think it's a it's a good thing for other youth coaches to to teach as well. So I've got some videos that I'm going to show while I talk over it and uh, give some some tips on how to how to do this better. Okay, so I want you guys to pay attention to the red arrow as it pops up on the screen. That red arrow is going to be showing you who I want you to pay attention to as they are receiving a pass. Now, I'm not I'm not going to just talk about how to receive the pass, but I'm also going to talk about how to throw the pass so that your teammate can catch it as well because both the, both ends of this are very important. Okay, so I've got some clips here you'll see from various games around the NBA uh, over the past couple of days. I'm trying to spread out my content a little bit more so that it's not just one game. But you'll see that uh, I do get quite a few uh, video clips from just one game in particular because this happens a lot in the NBA. You have to get a little bit physical with a defender before you can get away from them. Now, a lot of times uh, in the NBA, you'll see uh, screens set Screens are typically the preferred way to get somebody open, but um, particularly the Warriors, you'll see Steph Curry. Uh, he he more than anybody else because he he gets guarded about 25 to 30 feet from the basket. Generally, he has to push off a little bit every time to get some space for him to catch the pass and potentially get off a shot too. Okay, so here's here's your tips for receiving the pass. First thing is. Need you to walk a few steps away from where you want to catch that pass, generally towards the basket. As you watch these clips, you'll see them take a few steps towards the basket. They're going to get a body on their man. They're going to start to lean into him a little bit, and then they might use just a shoulder or they might use their hands or their forearm or something to start pushing off on that defender. You want to push off on them just enough uh, so that they are, are kept rooted in place, but not so hard that they fall or stumble backwards. That would probably be called a foul. So push them just enough so that they stay where they are and you can get a little bit of momentum from them by pushing on them a little bit. You know, you you push on them and it pushes you back the other way. Timing wise, when when should you 
make that push off, you should make that push off when the ball handler is ready to make that pass to you. You have to make sure that they're in a position that, that they're ready to make that pass. If they're being harassed by a defender, it's probably not time. When they do make that pass, you need to make sure that you come towards the ball so that the de defender can't step in front of it. Now, as for the passer themselves, what are the couple tips? It's really quite simple. It's in same thing in reverse on the timing end. You want to make sure that your teammate is ready to make that push off and, and catch the ball. That means making sure that they have leverage um, on their defender so that they're leaning into them a little bit, then you know they're ready. Second thing is you want to make sure that you throw that ball away from the defender uh, towards towards your guy, but away from the defender. So that usually means throwing it a few feet outside of where they're standing currently so that when you throw that ball, they can run towards it and catch it. Shorter video today. Hopefully everybody learned something from that. Number one thing I wanted to get across today is that basketball is a physical sport. You're going to have to push a little bit sometimes, and this is one of them. It's a great way to get open. I got a couple other videos coming out uh, later this week and into early next week. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'd love to answer some questions. Until next time, have a good one.